after days of traveling, we finally arrived at the best religious museum of 2020, the life-size Noah's Ark. In Williamstown, Kentucky, first opened in 2016, well, just look at it. It's huge, 510 feet long, 85 feet wide, and 51 feet tall. And it took about six years to build it. Sounds long, right? But consider Noah spent 100 years to build his ark. Six years is not that bad. The ark has three decks, which are ranged in 132, 18 feet tall base. On deck one, you can see all kinds of stored living supplies for humans and animals. There's also an introduction of animal kinds and insects. You'll be surprised to see some dinosaurs too. It would be a great place to play hide and seek. Through the ramp, you can wheel or walk up to deck two. Pretty convenient through this level shows you what the world looked like before the flood. There's an introduction about Noah, including his workshop and blacksmith's shop. Deck 3 is where you can meet Noah's family and learn about how they possibly lived on the ark. Beside these, they also have an exhibit of the owner's views on Earth Age. Ice Age. Babel, Ancient Man flood geology, and flood legends, etc. Quite interesting. Regardless of the truth of information exhibited here, you can see great efforts they put into this place. From possibilities of living status on the Ark, to those possible functions of Ark designs. Great imagination, quite impressive. Inside the ark, you can find a small zoo called the Ararat Ridge, where you can pet some animals and have camel rides. They have virtual reality theater about how Noah built his ark. Good experience, you can try it. Next to the theater, you can find a very cute playground for kids. Well, very well arranged. If you want to, you can zip line too, but we passed on that. Oh, and they have a big buffet restaurant inside. I really enjoyed it. Overall, it's an interesting place to visit, regardless of whether you agree with their views on the flood or not, mainly because of the building itself is striking. But I do have advice before visiting. If you're not Christian, uh, not a young earth creationist, make sure you visit it with your left side brain deactivated. Just go there, walk around, and go home. Otherwise, you will find yourself paying for mental distortion.